Colorectal cancer is an extremely important health problem in Ontario. It's the second leading cause of cancer-related death amongst men and the third leading cause amongst women. There was an emerging consensus internationally that we needed to get organized in, uh, around colorectal cancer screening and started to make the argument here in Ontario that we're the largest province. We have the largest number of men and women diagnosed with the disease, largest number of men and women who die of the disease, and we have the tests. We have proof that the tests work, and we weren't applying the tests. Colon Cancer Check is our province-wide, organized colorectal cancer screening program. The, the public launch of the program was in April 2008. We raised awareness in the public, and we raised awareness amongst family physicians. The message was, if you're 50 years and older, go and talk to your family physician about screening for colorectal cancer. Now, with further development of the program and ongoing implementation of additional components, just this past year, we now have fully implemented correspondence, so letters of invitation to people as they turn 50, letters to people if they've had a negative uh, stool blood test or fecal local blood test, letters to people two years later to come back for a repeat, and if they don't come back, a reminder letter. That was a key implementation province-wide, and so we are sending letters of correspondence to millions of Ontario men and women. The reason that we recommend a screening between the ages of 50 and 74 to uh, Ontarians is that there is level A evidence to support the use of either guaiac-based FOBT or flexible sigmoidoscopy uh, in this population. Um, it's been well shown to decrease both colorectal cancer related uh, death and uh, for flexible sigmoidoscopy to reduce the chances of, of uh, getting cancer. The Screening Activity Report is another intervention that we are using at Colon Cancer Check in order to try and increase our participation rates with colorectal cancer screening. And what it is, is a uh, report that we issue to um, the primary care physicians, to every primary care physician in Ontario, that lists for them the patients in their practice who have not yet been screened uh, and are due for screening, and the patients who have been screened but require some sort of follow-up. And we think that this is a really uh, terrific way, as audit and feedback has been shown in the literature, to um, improve uh, physician um, practice. We think this is a really terrific way uh, to try and improve our colorectal cancer screening rates. And we found that there is some benefit in terms of increasing participation rates with the audit and feedback reports. An important um, step that we'll be taking with Colon Cancer Check is we'll be changing the stool blood test, the GUIAC fecal local blood test, or FOBT. We'll be changing that for the fecal immunochemical test, or FIT. The program was funded in 2007. We launched in 2008, and that's a little while ago now. And in the intervening years, the evidence for the fecal immunochemical test has really become much stronger. And so now it's time to keep the infrastructure in place, but swap out the test. The uh, physician who did the colonoscopy came out and told me that there is a fairly large sized tumor in my rectum that would need surgery to come out and he felt quite confident that it looked like a cancerous tumor. I think colon cancer check is amazing. I think that the benefits of it is it gets people talking. I was trying to find a way to give back in a positive way and to be involved in something to do with cancer. It's your opportunity to share your experiences. You lived what CCO is trying to do and always looking to make better. Cancer Care Ontario does the work and the direction and the guidance um, and the members of PFAC, we're the ones that bring the lived experience. And I think the advice I would have is just let your story or your journey be the information that you share because that's what's important. Well, we've learned a lot in the implementation of the program and there are some aspects of program design that you may not have thought about ahead of time but you learn as you go forward. A really big message I think for all screening programs is regardless of how you're doing the implementation, you need to measure performance every step of the way and learn from that. It's been a very satisfying uh, to be involved from the beginning when it was an idea to uh, getting it funded and now implemented. So we're very involved in um, measuring the quality, measuring participation rates, and, uh, and the cancer detection rates. 
uh, for the screening program so that we can benchmark and compare ourselves against other jurisdictions.